Welcome back to day two of the sail the Gulf Regatta, hosted at the Doha Sailing Center, a thriving hub of the sport in the Middle East. All the sailors were down at the venue early, ready for another full day of sun, breeze and racing. The weather forecast was a repeat of yesterday, so the breeze was set to be 15 to 20 knots around the racetrack, and this morning the sailors were focused on preparing their boats and turning up for another windy day. Um, yesterday was a very difficult day because of all the wind conditions and the very choppy waves. Um, today we expect more or less the same, maybe even a bit more gusts. Today I'm trying to do my best. There's a lot of uh, good players inside the sea. A champion of Asian girl and both of them first and second of the Asian championship. As the breeze filled in early, the race committee stayed to the planned schedule of another three races, with the first warning signal at 1100 hours. On race course A, the Optimist fleet enjoyed another challenging day as they aimed to maintain steady and consistent results and hold their position on the leaderboard. There were some inspiring moments around the race course as these young sailors manoeuvred their boats with apparent ease and total control with close boat-on-boat -boat battles, tactics and speed performance, the order of the day. Yesterday's leader, Thomas Barreto of Portugal, put in another strong performance and continues to lead, chased by Malaysia's sailors in second and third. On the same course, close to the shore, the Laser 4.7 sailors had another intensely physical day, with full-on hiking to keep their boats flat and optimize speed. The 16-strong fleet represents seven different nations, but so far it is the sole northern European entry, Evgeny Vasilyev of Russia, who continues to set the pace. Over on the further offshore course area, the conditions were even more challenging, with larger waves and more breeze. Three races for each of the 420, 470, Laser Radial, Laser Standard and Hobie Multihull were completed, with the discard kicking in after race 5 to shake the leaderboard up a bit. But no major changes as most of the teams have managed to deliver consistent results. El Sam LV of Egypt added two more first places to his two race wins from yesterday and holds the lead in the Laser Radial, whilst the Laser Standard is still dominated by Malaysia's Karol Nizam Mohad Alfendi, who claimed three more race wins. A similar repeat performance from Malaysia's Ahmad Sukri bin Abdul Aziz and Mohamed Faisal Norizan, who again won every race to hold tight to the top of the leaderboard in the 420 fleet. All change in the Hobie 16 fleet, with Kazakhstan's Anouar Kaldikozav and Magomed Dalakov moving up from third to first overall from their two race wins and second place today. The forecast for day three is for lighter wins, so expect a different game plan from teams for tomorrow's racing. The lighter sailors and light wind experts will have the opportunity to excel and showcase their performance around the track, which may lead some upsets in the fleet leaderboards. Stay tuned. <laughs>